Good morning and welcome to another Carrie Boss vlog. The time right now is 11.53, warm up is at 11.55, the show is at one. However, this week we have had two 10 o'clock shows, which means being in the building at 8.55 for warm up, which is something I've never done before. <clears throat> and I actually, if I'm being completely honest with you, don't mind it because it happens so early on that it's done so early on in the day that it feels like it didn't happen. You can always pretend that that one didn't happen and then the show in the evening or the show later on in the day because we did a 10 and a 2 and a 10 and a 7. The 10 and the 2, we just got them out of the way and we were done by half four and then for the first time in theatre history I had an evening off. What? But then the 10 and the 7, there's such a huge gap in between that some of us went to see Matilda for the afternoon at the cinema around the corner. When you have two shows a day, it sounds like a really strenuous schedule. And for the most part, it is, it can be. There are gaps and big enough breaks for you to rest and not be dead on your feet. That being said, for the last couple of days, I've not been very well. So this is, I, I bought out boots, essentially. I went and bought everything I possibly could to try and make myself feel better, and it worked. Um, I think the day before yesterday was the worst of it. <clears throat> I came down with it on the Tuesday, um, which annoyingly was press night. Um, I got through the shows fine, but then on Wednesday I woke up feeling horrendous. And I think that that was the worst of it. I felt like someone had a pillow held to my right ear. I just couldn't hear anything. And whenever I opened my mouth and sang a note, my ear popped and like went <laughs> So it made singing really, really difficult. Um, but I feel like I'm out the other side now. I'm still a bit snotty, still a bit sniffly, but <coughs> for the most part, I'm okay. So today is just a two show day. It's a one and a seven. Um, there's still quite a big gap between a one and a seven. We finish the one at 3.30, and then we don't have a half hour call until 6.25, so there's a good three hours in between shows. Um, but tomorrow, my friends, is something that I have never done before. Tomorrow is a three show day. 10.30, 7. And our week doesn't end there. We still have a one and a five on a Sunday. So panto schedules are a lot to say the least. But <clears throat> I think if you pace yourself, it's doable, as many people before me have proven. <laughs> right, it's time to go to warm up. And I'm wearing my very nice blue whale dress today from Joni. It's part of their Natural History Museum um, range. It was gifted to me. But there's someone who works backstage called Emily who apparently, I found this out before I even wore this dress, she is obsessed with whales. So I've been promising to wear this dress for a while. So I'm gonna go show it to her. By a vague tidy up, I mean, it's still a mess, just not as much of a mess as it was before. Everyone's decorating their dressing rooms for Christmas, so in the three hours between shows today, I'm going to buy some Christmas decorations and you are coming with me, and I'm very excited by this. Max is even having a full light switch on between shows today. I need to get in on this. Right, do uh, two and three for me. There's people out there who think we have really, really good automation. That we spent loads of money on the show when really it's just the gorgeous Jake and a piece of thread. Oh, oh, look at that. 
Look at that. That is theatre magic. Well done, mate. I am out between shows in very Christmassy Canterbury. I can hear Christmas music up ahead and there's lots of Christmas lights everywhere. But I'm looking for Christmas decorations for my room. But also I want to hold a Christmas ball ball competition between all of the dressing rooms and the departments at work. So I'm gonna see if I can find any blank ball balls in the works. Let's see. Okay, the works had literally nothing of the sort. So rethink, rethink. Can you hear this? How fun is this? <laughs> this is what I'm looking for. Christmas cabin. Here we go. Am I going overboard? <sighs> okay, dressing room tree, and I just went for quite big ball balls. I've gone for some big ball balls that people can just decorate however they want. And with all that bought, I'm now gonna get myself a prep Christmas sandwich, because they're the best. Okay, so I've had a slight nightmare in that one of the sets of lights on the pre-lit Christmas tree didn't work. So it's like three sets that you have to then connect together from the top, middle, and bottom, and the middle set, the middle set? The bottom set didn't work, but the top and the middle do. So I've taken them all off, removed the bottom set, and now, I'm going to redecorate. Hang on, I've got my camera. Come on in. I'm coming in with my camera. Oh, it smells nice in here. Yeah, it smells like food. Why is it wet? There's showers leaking. Oh, fun. Really good. Oh, no, but don't stop. Oh, the snow's cool. There we go. All right. Let's Wait, come in here. Oh, fuck it. Where's the snow from? The snow's great. Okay, counting down from oh. 10. Wait. Oh. oh, sorry. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, Than this. Does this socket work? I'm off the really test now. What are you going to do with the socket? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! So, just before I hand over to Ellie um, to switch on, I'll be Christmas with the official plunger that, of course, traditionally, as Christmas lights go, does nothing. Um, okay, so, we're all ready to count down. <laughs> Uh, from 10, we'll do a practice as is tradition. Here we go. 10, ten practice nine, nine eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Stop, stop, stop. Oh. I don't think that was loud enough. Was it the mayor? Uh. No. Well, I think it's time we did it for real. Yay! Here we go. Ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 